Hard work's easy work, champ. Come on, let's go. I'm, I'm hungry, I'm, I'm reaching my prime now, so um, I, feel, I feel it's going to be a very good in, entertaining fight, but my power will show through. I've got to uh, focus on the next task ahead now. Um, I've got good people around me, they'll, they'll, they'll uh, keep me focused on, on training and make sure I'm up for it and uh, get the right sparring in for me for this new opponent when we find out as soon as possible. Off to box fit where they do all my kit, they do all my t shirts, my shorts. Like when I need boxing stuff, like my boxing shoot, like boots and gloves, I come here, they sort me out. Got box naked. <laughs> uh, um, t shirts, yeah. And then also, he wants like, um, when he walks out with me, like, in, like in the, for the Wayne's, like, um, Under Armour material tops. I'll be obviously pay short for sleeve or short sleeve. Uh, or do my best. Short sleeve or best. Where you want best? Best. Yeah. Best. Yeah. Like, yeah. The, like the tech fix style yeah. ones. Just like. I don't know. Do you know what I'm saying? Let me have a look. Yeah, I think, I think they're long Charlie. sleeves. Pardon? I did have Charlie White, didn't I? But then uh, it's pulled out. Um, don't know now. Intercontinental style, I think. Yeah. But it was going to be the British title eliminator. The and then um, it went to press conference yesterday. He didn't turn up. He didn't, he didn't turn up. Yeah, he's actually and, uh, better, he, he hasn't answered his phone to his manager, his coach, his trainer. Oh, really? He's gone missing. He's gone missing. <laughs> <laughs> Blocked me on all social media. Hey. Yeah. yeah, of course. No, he's gone off the face of the earth. I, I'd rather be more honest than trying to yeah. So, we're safe for a week, so. It's nice. Well, my name is Ken Mills, and I'm the owner of BoxFit UK. And we've been dealing with Tommy for about three, four years and just helping him with his professional career. More so in the capacity of equipment, clothing, custom ring wear, that type of thing. What he turns up in the ring wearing, we produce for him. Tommy's career in the last three years has accelerated very well. So he's now becoming one of the little hot prospects. Um, and hopefully he can maintain his level that he's growing at. Obviously, boxers find levels is the most common used word, but so with Tommy, it's the same thing. He's finding his levels, so hopefully he can just keep progressing up and up and, and learning from what he's doing. But at the moment, it's, it's great. It's, it's lovely watching it. We, we love to be part of the beginning and then watching the journey. It's amazing that he'll, he'll get into a ring. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Get into a ring to have a punch, punch up. up yeah. Well, now he's got a birdie yeah, phone. Huh? And he can't. It's a different world. You see his eyes, she's not happy. She's not happy. <laughs> Uh, September the 12th, I'm um, fighting Tommy Martin. He's an uh, English champion on the undercard of Anthony Joshua, so it's a very big opportunity for me to showcase my, my skills on Sky, so um, buzzing for it. Tommy Martin's a, a very, um, he's got a good potential as a kid. Um, he's, only, he's a 20, 21 years old, so um, he's still a young kid in my eyes, but he, he has got potential. It's going to be a great fight. And um, I'll never underestimate no one, but um, it's going to be a hell of a fight. Uh, my name's Rod Julian. Uh, I'm trainer of uh, Michael Devine. Um, I train quite a few professionals now. Uh, Michael is doing fantastic at the moment. Just come over to me. It's our first fight together. Um, we had to take, try and take him up a gear. Him and his previous coach come to me and, and said, "Will I take him to the next level?" And I, and I agreed and um, he's really been putting it in. I mean, he's, he's a true talent. I mean, Michael's got where he's got to today um, with not even really being over hungry with boxing and achieved quite good things, but he's cut a lot of corners in the past, not lived a life 
So I said, if I take you on, you've got to live the full, complete life. And um, that's what he's been doing. He's had the best sparring, he's had the best training. Um, I've just took Greg Marriott on board, which is um, Kel Brook's nutritionist. Um, we've just come back from training with Kel Brook, Kid Galahad, in uh, Future Ventura, Canary Islands, where he's been sparring Kid Galahad, Lee Wood, and guys like that. And he's just trying to take him to the next level, really, because the O2 is going to be a big occasion. But he's more than capable of delivering. I mean, he's, he's a big problem, you know, and now he's always been trained trained like to his full potential and eating correctly at the right times, taking the right amount of fluids on. And obviously having one of the top guys in the country, Greg Marriott, behind him as well. So um, it's all good really. I used to box just because I love boxing, but now it's um it's for my, for my family, like, I have to provide for them and um, I know I can um, have better things for them through boxing, so uh, that's my, my drive and um, hopefully making my granddad proud, he, he was a boxer himself, that's why, that's why I box and he's ne he, never, he died early so I never got to, um, I never, he never got to see me box, so I like to keep it in the family sort of thing. It's for an intercontinental title, and there's going to be it's going to be seen by millions of people on Sky. And um, I know this can elevate my career and really get going. I'm living the life now a lot. I've never made properly uh, weight properly back in the day, so this time round, I'm giving it 100%, no stone unturned. So this is it. I yeah. told them to change your kit to an extra small so it's really yeah. tight when you come out. <laughs> yeah. uh, hot pants, yeah. Hey? Yeah, all right. Oh, yeah, I'm making a meal out of that, isn't it? Says the person that just passed the driving test. They've shut the M1 for you so yeah. you can drive down here. God. Four hours to get home the other day. Four, that's <laughs> unbelievable. I can't believe that. You no, found no me. you thought I was pissing about. I was like, you're you're messing about, man. Yeah. Four hours. I'm like, I was weighing doors with my feet up, man. Where I used to, be, I used to train with James Paisley, and there was no, it was just me and him. Most days, like, there there was two other lads, Miley and John, but they had a different trainer, so it was just me in the gym. So I weren't, I was only, I had no one to push me really, like. Now I'm back with with a team. I'm a hundred percent like they've lifted me up two, three gears, so yeah. I'm buzzing now. I think it's through the camp. You've lifted them through the through the gears as well. And I'm getting a lot more sparring. Like sometimes, ah. like I fought Dingsdale, and I, I've probably probably done 16 rounds of sparring for the for, for a Southern area title. You know what I mean? Like, now I'm doing oh, well, over hundred rounds. Over hundred right? rounds. I run you around. Room. And Cougar. Accident repairs. Yeah. yeah, that should be fine as well. Yeah, um I've got the oh. They said send it look. Just got some new spar and stuff. Um got some Got some work with Danny Connor tomorrow, so I'll open up some new gloves with me. So, so just getting ready now. Like, I've only got a couple of days left of sparring, so I'll treat myself. So. Right, yeah, that's a uh, ten grand in, please. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a large head guard. Though. What size did you try on? That's medium. Put the right on quickly, just to be on the safe side. Because that last one, was, that that was on my nose, sort of thing. Oh, right, nah, that's nice, mate. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> that's <laughs> nice, isn't it? Yeah, let me have a look. Yeah. And as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you did, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twice. 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 Twice.
feel like a kid at Christmas now. Uh. <laughs> Get no gear in it. This is my godfather, Paul. These are my two mates, Joe and Carl. Oh, Bradley, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> well, these are the nutty, the nutty dogs. This one is the most, look, it looks nice and innocent behind that window. But once I open that door, it will go for you. And then that one's just a cuddly bit. Great. I was just a little kitty. And this is my beautiful mother. <laughs> so we're not letting the dogs in, though? Nah, the dogs are coming in there. Well, we're going to shoot to the gym. Okay. Are you going to go shopping with Danielle? Yeah, I'm going to go shopping. But I've got to go to Essex Mall, Starbury, meet her there. And then we'll go to bed with when you go to jump. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's Come on, let's go. Let's turn my shoes white. Right. <laughs> what is that, man? <laughs> me and him used to hate each other. Me and Joe used to never used to go on at all. And then, um, what happened? Why, why did you not get on? I went shopping with you, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. Cambridge, and I was acting a bit of a clown. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah. so what happened? We, me and my mate, my other mate Connor, we was going. Was you coming? Was you coming on holiday with us? No, that holiday. Right. Was Harvey, right? Oh yeah, yeah. So anyway, so me and my mate Connor just randomly booked a holiday, and we went. We went to do clothes shopping like in Cambridge, like our, like our big shopping centre around us. And then um, all Joe and his mates were there, so we started like like I got on with some of his mates, and he got on with Connor. So we just started talking and that, and Joe, I found Joe like hilarious throughout the day. So I said, Joe, we're going to we're going to, we're going to Benidorm next weekend. I said, do you want to come? And he literally dropped everything and just booked a holiday to come out of us the following weekend. He's like, Mum, Dad, I'm going away next weekend. Is that right? And this is when we was what, 16, 17? Yeah, yeah. And then uh, ever since then we've just been mates. And yeah, me and Carl up. used to knock. Carl used to go to. There's two secondary schools around us. There's two secondary schools in St Neots, and one Long Sands, one Ernoff. I used to go to Long Sands, and he went to Ernoff, but we kind of knocked about after school at the ramps and that didn't yeah, we? we? We used to be little rampers. Ramps, uh, <laughs> and then um well, you be a Yeah we've been mates been mates since then, haven't we? Yeah, just, just done like everything together really. really. We're in the Baptist Church in the St. Baptist Church today, um on New Street, uh, I think it's called New Street. And then um, yeah just here this is where I come on my Sundays when uh, when I get back into Cambridgeshire and uh, sing my praises for Jesus. Very important to me. Um, I don't. I don't. I still don't look at it as a religion. Though. I still. I, I look at it more of a relationship with God. Um, and it. And it, and it might sound cringy, but at the end of the day, that's how I look at it. That's my outlook on, on, on uh, Christianity and uh, being a born again Christian. It's. Uh, it's a personal relationship with me and me and God and me and Jesus. And uh, so that's why I come here today. Um, I see. I see other Christians around me. We talk about Jesus. We talk about our week and uh, sing our praises. Uh, I think it was, it was one of my fights. So I was sitting in the change room with Jimmy Tibbs, and um, I wasn't actually meant to be in the change room. It was, uh, me and Freddie Turner was boxing on the night, and um, so there was too many people downstairs, and my coach Barry wasn't happy. He said, Tom, we can't train in here. We can't warm up in here. We've got to go get a nice big change room. Next thing you know, he rung Jimmy Tibbs, and he said, yeah, come into our change room, but only Tommy. So we've gone in this change room. Next thing you know, it's me around a load of Christians, and um, they was all talking about the Lord, and I honestly believe that I was put in there for a reason to understand, because I've always been asking questions and I've never really understood. And then I honestly believe I was put in there that, that night to have my, have my prayers answered, have my questions answered. And, uh, and I, yeah, and, and it was. And the Holy Spirit came inside me and um, doesn't want to leave. Doesn't want to leave. Yeah, like I said, yeah, boxing, um, religion and boxing, they don't really go together, people say, but. Um, 
before the fight, you go through a lot of emotions. And when I get down on my knees and before the fight, and uh, I talk to Jesus, and we have that conversation before I go into, those, into that squared circle, and uh, it's warming, it really is. And um, so, yeah, it's very important in, in my boxing career and in my life as a, as a person. <laughs> He's interesting because he's a couple. Of, he's about a year older than my youngest daughter, so I, I knew about Tommy. And my twins used to play with him when they were tiny, so it's quite strange that they've been 19 years apart almost, and now I've suddenly come across him again. Uh, so good, good relationship. Been up to the gym and watch him spar, um, and looking forward to a fight at the O2 on the 12th of September. Going to get there with a crowd of my youngsters. Yeah, it's a. Uh... Jack and uh, you come out and you just feel so filled with the Holy Spirit, it's amazing, absolutely amazing. David, David's a brilliant pastor and I can't turn this music down either. Oh, I'll turn this one. Yeah, um, nah, it's a brilliant service, um, I love it in there. Junction 17 cars here, uh, my main sponsor. Come and have a look at the lovely motors. Yeah, basically I'm uh, Colin Bacon, uh, Managing Director of Junction 17 Cars and Junction 17 Cars as a company uh, sponsor Tommy Martin. Um, I saw him sparring at a local gym, uh, he had just gone professional and he was uh, 2-0 oh at the time and uh, met his dad, got talking to him, thought he was a nice lad, very genuine, um, a likeable rogue sort of thing and I thought yeah he said he needed to get uh, spend more time training and he was looking for a sponsor so I said I'd sponsor him to give him the opportunity to go down to London and to train. Um, I've seen him grow into a, a real credible fighter. I mean before I think he was um, still very young and uh, he was winning because he's very good at his boxing skills but I think he was um, not as strong as he is now. I think he's the real deal now. I think he's got the strength and I think he's got the boxing power there now and I think he's going all the way. I think he's progressed so incredible from being 2-0 and when we met him to where he is now. Plug your phone in, cup of tea. You can yeah. kind of a cup of tea. Gorgeous. Try try your new kit on. Yeah. He's gonna drive home with that lovely new kit. Yeah, yeah. With his head guard on and his gloves. Already. That's it, put it in my bag, that bit of yeah. scratch, right? <laughs> right, ready to right. just um this is gonna be my second session of the day and um just going to do something light like, because I've got strength and positioning later, so um, I'll just do um, a few rounds shadow boxing, working on lots of technical stuff, and then um, I'll uh, I'll just do a few on the on the pad um, on the bags and pads, little light like, workout, nothing too major. Like all the a lot of the hard work's done, so uh, I'll be sparring tomorrow, so. Nice S and C, and then a, a run later. So, Lightning. you see, look, and that nice to wake up to that in the morning. What morning that? Morning handsome. It just just reminds you, <laughs> you still might have it in the tank. Uh, it reminds <laughs> me of me, does it? <laughs> I don't think that reminds me of you. Let me tell you now. Yeah. It's like waking up with got, a got, grizzly bear in my bed. Yeah, I've got training in the morning. <laughs> 
got to change. He's got more hair on his toes than he has on his beard. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Don't let me get started with your. Oh, no. <laughs> that lens ain't big enough to get him in. So. Oh, non stop. So, we're going to finish uh, Michael now. Get him oh. done. He can go home and have a kip. Yeah, no, I just can't wait for this fight on the 12th now. I'm, I'm buzzing for it. Um, just, I think the big occasion brings out the best in everyone. And like Al San says, cream rises to the top, baby. Yeah. Cream oh, rises yeah. to the top. You didn't have to get that baby in the day. Yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right, I like it now because I ain't got to see Michael till tomorrow now. Oh, so yeah. but <laughs> yeah. It's after battle, isn't it? Uh. <laughs> By the time he drives home, he drives like a snail, so will he take him about eight hours to drive back to Luton from here? Yeah. He thought the hard shoulder was one of the lanes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See what I have to put up with. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> training is training. But when you've got to be serious, you've got to be serious. But I think you have to have fun in your camp. You, you, you've got to let your hair down. I think it just relaxes fighters better and try it for coaches and coaches and fighters. And when you're relaxed, you're happier. And it ain't so serious all the time. There's times when you've got to be serious, there's times when you can have fun. But I think you've got to keep that fun in the workout as well. No matter who you are. Um, I boxed there twice now, I won there twice. So uh, as that happens in freeze and uh, we're going to have a brilliant performance. I've been on the big stage before and um, I, I, I carry power with both hands. My will to win is it's better than uh, second to none. There'll be guns blazing. Tell me the gun. It's gonna be kicking some ice. Bring this belt home. Training hard. He's been on my radar for a while. He's English champion. He's got people, he, he has belts what everyone wants. Um, as soon as the opportunity uh, like that comes up, I, I wanna I wanna prove myself. I never hold grudges on anyone. Like we, we both want the same thing. But I believe in my ability, and I believe Tommy Martin gets beat by a good Michael Devine. It'll be Tommy's hardest fight to date, I believe. Can't hide something good, it's bound to come out.